Hi, welcome to Gem and Drive Online. This is a special Christmas edition. Hi kids, it's time for a song and you got your voices loud and your hands ready to move. Let's go! We're gonna sing a song about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Are you ready? A Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer they used to laugh and call him names and they never let poor Rudolph joining any reindeer games. Oh, then one foggy Christmas Eve Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? And then how the reindeer loved him and they shouted out with glee, Rudolph, let no reindeer, and you go down history. I think we should sing it again. Are you ready? Tonight, and then how the reindeer loved him, and they shouted out with glee. A Rudolph the red reindeer, a you go down history, go down history. Get ready to listen up for an awesome story we've got coming your way. Hello, everyone. Today we have a story called My Birthday. Jesus' birthday. Did you know Christmas is actually about Jesus? Let's see what this story says. Every year, I have two favourite days. My birthday and Jesus' birthday. My birthday is the day I was born. Everyone sings happy birthday to me. Then I blow out candles, eat chocolate cake and open presents. I love my birthday. It's my special day. Do you love your birthday? Birthdays are great. Christmas is Jesus' birthday. My family and I sing carols to Jesus. We light candles. We eat sugar cookies with sprinkles and open presents. I love Christmas. It's Jesus' special day. Before I was born, Mummy and Daddy took a long trip to visit Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma had a warm meal and a comfy bed ready for them to stay when they arrived. Before Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph took a long trip to Bethlehem. But when they arrived, they didn't have a place to stay or anyone to help them. Oh dear. I was born in a hospital with doctors and nurses and baby-sized beds. A nurse wrapped me in a blanket to keep me warm. Jesus was born in a stable without doctors or nurses or any beds at all. Mary wrapped Jesus in a long cloth and laid him in a manger. That's like a trough where the animals would eat. Wow, that was Jesus' bed in a trough. When I was born, Mummy and Daddy called their friends. And, and told their family the good news. Grandma and Grandpa came to the hospital to see me. News spread about Jesus too. God sent angels to tell some shepherds and they hurried to the stable to see the baby Jesus. Oh, wow. After I came home from the hospital, Mummy sent birth announcements. They were another way to let everyone know that I had arrived. God sent a special announcement for Jesus, a star. Look, wise men from far away, from a faraway land, followed the star until they found Jesus. I got lots of gifts when I was born, a 
and every birthday I get more. My favourite is Tum Tum My Teddy Bear. That's Tum Tum right there, look. The wise men gave Jesus three gifts. Gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Look. Sometimes I wonder what I'll be when I grow up. I can think, think of lots of things I'd like to be, but only God knows what will happen. Jesus knew he was born to be a saviour. He loved us all so much, he died to save us from our sins. Then he came back to life again. Jesus is our saviour. He came to save us all. The day I was born was special. Mummy and Daddy waited nine months for that day. Jesus' birthday was special too. People waited thousands of years for him to come. I love you, Jesus. I'm glad he was born to be my saviour. I'm glad Jesus was born to be my saviour too. So every Christmas I say, Happy birthday, Jesus! And that's the end of the story. Christmas is awesome. And it's all about Jesus. And he loves us all so much. And this year, I hope you remember that Jesus loves you too. I hope you have a great Christmas. It's time for some craft. Wasn't that a great book we had today about my birthday and Jesus' birthday? In my house at Christmas time on Christmas Day, we actually make a birthday cake and sing happy birthday to Jesus. So I thought maybe you'd like to make one too. So we've got this to make today. Um, it's a poster that can, maybe you can hang on your wall at Christmas time if you want to. So you start with a backing sheet of paper. The other things you'll need are some cards of different colour, um, paper or card. Really doesn't matter what colour, they was, were just the ones I had around the house. Uh, a couple of scraps of other card, a little piece of ribbon or string or something like that just to be your hanger. And I printed off Happy Birthday Jesus from the computer, but you can handwrite it if you like. Um, maybe if your child's learning how to write, um, you could do the dots and they could write over it themselves. And then we've got some sticky tape and some glue, some normal straight scissors. And I've got a couple of special scissors that cut with some um, wavy lines. But if you haven't got those, that's fine. Your cake can just be colourful and that would work just as well. So... You start with your backing sheet and you've got to build your cake up from um, the bottom to the top. So choose one of your colours and for each colour if you cut them into quarters, if you just fold one of them and then you put it on top of the other colours. You can cut through all three pieces of card at the same time. So each layer of the cake, I followed the same pattern um, in the colours, starting with one. And for your very bottom layer, you don't need to do any special cutting if you're doing it with the um, scissors that cut shapes. Because the bottom of our cake is just flat. So it can sit on the table and not fall over. So when you start gluing, just leave enough room so that the border can be stuck underneath that. All right. So you can then use your fancy scissors and you just need to cut one edge of the card and you can cut both of the next colours at the same time. And 
your bottom layer of the cake, I've made that a little bit more than the middle layer. But you can paste it any way you like because it's your cake and you can have it just how you like it. So I've got my cake made. All right, now what do we need on our cake? We can't have a birthday cake without candles. So let's get a little bit of scrap paper or card and I'm going to fold mine into four and use my straight scissors just to cut them. You can have your candles as thick or as thin as you like. I think those ones are a bit thick. Let's cut them in half. All right, so I'll put some glue up the top. How many candles will you put on your cake for Jesus? Hmm, I wonder how old he is. Don't know. Maybe we'll just have as many as you are. That would be cool. We might have six for this one. Is anyone out there who's watching? Are you six? Right, so I've got my six candles on the top. Now I'm going to cut some little flames to go like we've lit the candles for when we sing happy birthday. So I've got six candles so I'm going to try and cut at least six flames because they all need to have a flame on the top. Okay, so the flame shape is like a little teardrop. It sort of has a pointy end at one and round, a round bottom. So it looks like a little teardrop. Okay, and then we're gonna put one on top of each of our candles. Okay, so they've all got a little flame on the top. On this one, I've drawn some little wicks. Just, that's the bit at the top where you light the candle. You can draw those if you want to. Doesn't matter if you don't. Okay, and now I've got my happy birthday Jesus. I might cut that with some different scissors. I think I'll put that on my bottom layer so everybody knows whose birthday it is. Okay, so there's our picture done. And if you want to leave it just there like that, you can. And mum could maybe put some magnets and put it on the fridge. Or you might even want to give it to somebody as a present. If you want to make a border and make a picture frame, I've got some gold card, but it could really be out of any card that you've got. Um, it is a little bit easier if it's slightly heavier than what you made your pasting out of. And you put your glue along the longest edges first. We're going to have to trim these two pieces down because the A4 doesn't quite reach for each side. And if you like it to be even, then what you're gonna do is just trim a little bit off each edge. About the same from each side. Now, because you cut a little bit off these ones, you also need to cut that off this border as well, about the same amount, so two to three millimetres. Now what you do is you match one of the edges, so I'm matching down the bottom here, and make sure it's straight, because you don't want a crooked picture frame, and then you're going to trim it off to match, see how it's a bit over? You're going to trim it off to match. 
There we go. Okay, and then the same on the other side. Our last little bit is our hanger on the back. And if you find the centre, and sticky tape is probably best to hold this on. And just one piece on each edge of the ribbon. That's what it looks like on the back. And there's your birthday cake for Jesus. Happy birthday, Jesus. Hope you enjoy making it. Bye. Okay, everyone, we've had a great time today and now it's time to say goodbye. We've enjoyed having you and goodbye, we'll goodbye, see you next friends, time. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye. This is the end. Goodbye, 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 my friends. We'll see you all next time. At Jam and Jive. Oh, Jam and Jive online. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.